Mathematical Miracles in the Holy Quran God taught the Holy Quran to the angel Gabriel, who then taught it to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who then taught it to his companions. It is imperative to know that the early Muslims compiled the Holy Quran and recorded the revelation as it was taught to them by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, over the span of 23 years. The Holy Quran was revealed bit by bit orally. It did not come down in written form. The early Muslims tried their best to compile the Holy Quran and it was eventually produced into the book we have today. After the book was compiled, it was apparent that the Holy Quran contained a deep mathematical structure and design that only God could have done. The Holy Quran contains many mathematical miracles, or presumed coincidences, that cannot be mere coincidences. Among the many mathematical miracles outlined in the Holy Quran is the mention of the word day 365 times, which is the time it takes the Earth to complete one orbit around the Sun. The plural of the word is used 30 times within the text, representing the number of days in a typical month. The word month is used 12 times in this same text. The words man and woman are mentioned 24 times each and not always in the same context. The word dunya, the world we live in, is mentioned 115 times, and the word that references the hereafter is mentioned 115 times. Again, God did not reveal the Holy Quran entirely at once. It was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, through Angel Gabriel, orally, piece by piece, in 23 years. A human could never compile the Holy Quran with tons of mathematical miracles in 23 years. These are only a few of the many found in the Holy Quran. These miracles, along with many others found in the text, show a deliberate order in the text of the Holy Quran. All the presumed mathematical coincidences cannot be, in fact, coincidences. Unlike the modern-day Bible, which contains thousands of contradictions due to its excessive modifications and insertions by human hands, the Holy Quran boasts perfect consistency and contains zero contradictions. Even though this more than 600-page book speaks of many complex topics, such as theology, law, legal problems, peace and war, marriage and divorce, economics, child custody, inheritance, etc. God states that if this book were written or tampered with by anyone, the text undoubtedly would contain many contradictions. Given the fact that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was an unlettered man who did not know how to read or write and lived in the desert, he could not have authored the Holy Quran as it is written in a very high literacy level of the Arabic language, containing no errors, contradictions, nor inconsistencies. Then do they not reflect upon the Quran? If it had been from any other than Allah, they would have found within it much contradiction. Quran chapter 4 verse 82. The Holy Quran contains perfect consistency and is free of contradictions, even though it was revealed orally over 23 years. The Holy Quran challenges anyone who doubts the book's divine origins to produce another sacred text, equal in merit, that matches its eloquence, power, style, language, etc. Allah made it clear that no one will ever be able to produce anything comparable to the Holy Quran, another prophecy of the Holy Quran that is true. And if you are in doubt about what we have sent down upon our servant Muhammad, then produce a surah the like thereof and call upon your witness other than Allah if you should be truthful. Quran chapter 2 verse 23